Hey everybody, Ogre here again for Ogre Breaks, doing a little box opening. I got two of the boxes of 2022 Topps 3D Baseball. They were a Topps.com exclusive. They were available, I think they might have been only available for a day, maybe two at most. Um, I know they did sell out pretty quickly. They are going on the secondary market for about 40 bucks a box now. They were $20, like I said, on the website. Um, you know, obviously plus tax, plus shipping as well. But I thought there was a fun rip. I enjoyed uh, opening up the first two boxes that I did. Um, felt like we did pretty good overall. Um, definitely could have been, you know, I still want to be able to pull like at least one of the Julios, the Wanders, or uh, Bobby Witts. We did pull a Torkelson insert, which was nice. But, um, but then also, too, we pulled a nice image variation. So can't really complain too much. Um, image variations are hard to come by as far as I know of. I don't know the exact uh, box odds, um, but I'm guessing probably like 1 in 20 boxes or something like that. So um, definitely not easy. So I figured we'll see how we do, what we get, and, you know, just kind of is what it is. So I did order four of these in total. Um, so here are, you know, box three and four. And... Uh, Let's we'll see, there's eight cards per pack, six base cards, and then two image uh, variations. So we'll see. We got a, all right, we got a Bobby Witt to start off. So I'm happy we got a base Bobby Witt. Definitely uh, one of the cards I was definitely looking for. We got you Darvish. Jonathan India, Rookie Cup. Dansby Swanson. Javier Baez. We got Luis Gill, Duran, Duran, and Guerrero. Okay, so definitely happy we we're able to get the Bobby Witt. Like I said, these are these are pretty cool though. These inserts, um, the insert set. There's a 20 card insert set. You get two per box. You know, Duran's not a horrible name. Uh, definitely, there's better names out there. Uh, Gill is probably one of the, uh, the, the you know definitely one of the lesser ones uh, to get. Um, actually, that might have been the worst one I might have pulled so far overall, but um, definitely happy pulling at least the Bobby Witt. Um, as far as I can recall from the secondary market, basically this goes for almost uh, the cost of, I think I think the Wits were selling for about 35-ish, so um, overall I'm pretty happy. Uh, definitely pulling that out of there, the Guerrero, the Baez. Um, Sponson, India, Darvish. Didn't get any other base rookies, but uh, we at least got some of the, the better names. Uh, the two boxes that we opened, we did get some duplicates. Uh, we got two duplicates. They were rookies, but not really rookies I'm particularly looking for. But uh, would be nice if we can kind of top it off. And we could pull a Julio or a Wander out of this box. Um, I think... I would be extremely happy. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Um, but definitely, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this product. I like it a lot personally. We got Joey Votto on the front. So, but eh, let's see. We got Votto, John Carlos Stan, Cunha. Okay, Manny Machado. At least we're getting you know decent names. Yastrzemski. And then the the, uh, the base set too. I don't know if I mentioned it's a hundred card checklist. Uh, it's a little mix of series one and series two. And then here are our rookie uh, inserts: Brian De La Cruz. Not really a name I'm looking for. Reed Detmers. Okay, not horrible, but and Paul Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt's been having a uh, phenomenal year this year. Potentially could be winning the uh, triple crown, maybe, but. Uh, fortunately, we were not able to get any of, you know, probably the big four, probably the big four, uh, actually, no, the big three rookies. We did get Torkelson in the other video of these, um, these rookie ones, but, uh, getting the Dur Duran, not too bad. Luckily, we did not get any duplicates of these, so that is the plus side, so I do have a little bit of a nice little kind of starter set, I guess, if you want to say, with these, uh, these rookie uh, inserts, but um, yeah, like I said, not the names I'm really looking for in there. 
Duran's cool, Detmers is cool, Brian De La Cruz, not that I personally don't really, you know, care about so much. Um, same thing with Gil. Just players that I don't really kind of, you know, root for, or, you know, really excited. But I actually, too, for any, let me just double check here. But um, I don't think we even got... Yeah, not even a base rookie except for the wit. So we did get a few rookies in the other two boxes. Like I said, though, lesser names, but um, still, that's fine. But definitely happy I was able to at least pull the Bobby Witt. Um, I was hoping at least pull at least out of the four boxes at least one Wander, one J Rod, and you know, or one Wit. Um, but we were able to pull the Wit. Um, don't know if I, I, I don't know really how my ranking would go if I wanted to pull one or one over the other you know between the three but definitely very happy pulling the wit um but yeah like i said these boxes have been pretty good to me overall um you know the wit i think goes for about i want to say 30 35 secondary market i have to actually double check the price um because like i said i was kind of eyeing them up to see if uh i wanted to um you know do something else with these boxes and then just buy the singles or take the risk and see what happens so um, trying to see how close they were, um, you know, going toward the price, but anyway, but you know, with that though, I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you want to see more pack openings like this, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. So you get notified of any of my future uploads. Uh, once we start getting some newer products coming out, we'll definitely be, uh, going, you know, harder on the channel, uh, with the uploads. It's just, unfortunately lately, we just haven't had too many, um, products even coming out that, Either I haven't already opened or opened enough of and, um, you know, just so basically waiting for Chrome and hopefully a couple of days and uh, um, Bowman Chrome, Bowman Draft, you know, shortly, well, maybe sh not shortly, but, you know, soon after that and um, as well as some other, you know, definitely some uh, stadium clubs, another one definitely I'm looking forward to as well, too. But um, so once, you know, these releases start coming out, definitely be doing some more openings on the channel. Um so, like I said, if you're new, greatly appreciate you subscribe. And also, too, with that, definitely leave me any comments on Tops 3D Baseball. Let me know what you think about it. I know some people don't really care for it, um, kind of kiddish or whatever the case may be. Um, I get a little kick out of this stuff, kind of brings out the kid in me. So I kind of do like to open up a little bit of this kind of stuff uh, from time to time. So... Um, you know, let me know what you guys think about it. And also, too, greatly appreciate it. Leave a like on that video. Uh, helps out the channel a great deal. Uh, we are creeping up 4,000 subscribers. So big thanks to all you guys that have subscribed, supported the channel uh, over the last almost two years. Later this month, uh, we will hit our two-year anniversary of the channel. So, um, But once again, thank you guys. And with that, see you next time. Take care, everybody.